Okay guys, today's the day. I'm gonna tell you everything that I learned from the number one coach in real estate and because I've officially started my third book, I wanna give away more copies in this video of my second book. What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into what I've learned from the number one coach in real estate. That's right, the number one coach in real estate. I want to share everything that I've learned from this person. Before getting into all that, I want to answer a couple of your questions on Instagram. Here's a question from Dragonfly Social. She wants to know if basically it's okay to go after when you're circle prospecting to go after the email address even if they say they have an agent as in offering to be their backup agent you know like what if something happens to your agent or what if you you know would you be okay with you know me being your plan b as an agent and i think that's fine you know if you if you get into those situations and you feel it and you want to go after the email address perfectly fine i i i want you to do that so i encourage you to do that if you feel the opportunity is there go for it get that email address Here's one from Jamie underscore Aguilera. He says, how do you plan on having a $10 million month? Calling every day? Absolutely. How else are you gonna build business? How else are you gonna create business? How else are you gonna get out there and stir the pot and find out what people wanna do, how you can help them, so on and so forth. You have to make contact. You have to call, you have to talk to people. Sure, social media, internet's great. But I think the internet, social media, and all these things should just be used as a pivot to get to the conversation. Once we get into the conversation, now we can really find out, A, what's going on, how we can help them, and B, is there a working relationship? You know, do we, do we fit? You know, and that's part of being a great salesperson and a great agent, is being able to get along with just about anybody, right? Um, and not holding grudges, not holding things personal, not letting people get under your skin, just letting things go and making everyone feel comfortable so that you can help them accomplish what they want to accomplish. So I made a goal um, a couple weeks ago. I want to close $10 million within a 30-day period at some point this year. So I'm going to bust my ass to get there. I'm going to make so many calls and I'm going to just stir the pot so much that um, my goal would be to have $10 million in closed volume within a 30 day period at some point uh, later this year. So yes, I'm gonna do it by calling and just stirring that pot and seeing what I can come up with. So thank you guys for the questions on Instagram. I'm still answering every single question on Instagram. So if you have anything or need anything, that's the best place to get me. I normally return them within a 24 hour period of time and um, I just appreciate you guys so much. So let's talk about everything I learned from the number one coach in real estate. So, you know, I've been selling real estate for 17 years and I've had a lot of ups and downs. I've had a lot of trial and error. I've had a lot of challenging moments and I've had a lot of successes and a lot of celebration um, in my career. And I'm just super grateful to be here. I'm super grateful to be talking to you right now. I'm super grateful of everything that has happened and I wouldn't change a bit of it. I will absolutely go down the same exact path that I've been on um, to be exactly where I am today because I couldn't be happier, to be honest with you. There's not anything in the world I would change and because of the way things have went and the, de the dedication that I have and the kind of person I am and the hard work that I know I'm gonna put in from this point moving forward and the hard work I put in up to this point, I know where I'm gonna end up, right? It doesn't matter what the market does. It doesn't matter um, the ups and downs. It doesn't matter anything, right? It doesn't matter if there's a disruption. It doesn't matter about interest rates. It doesn't matter, nothing matters. I know that I believe in myself that I'm going to get the job done. If we have a major setback and Sarah net worth goes down significantly, right? Doesn't matter because it's not about the money. It's about pushing forward and, and making the best out of what you have and always staying positive. But I've been through a lot and I've watched so many things. Um, I've watched so many coaches. I've studied, I've researched, I've 
um, watched all the top producers in my area. I've even studied a lot of the top producers around the country. I've read so many articles, I've read so many books, and I've basically molded my business into what I feel is the most efficient way to build your business. The quickest, the most effective, um, and I just, I really believe in it, right? And it doesn't matter about the necessarily uh, technical things that I do, like the actual nuts and bolts, the, the, the phone calls, what I say, so on and so forth. I think it's more about hard work and intent, right? But when I got into coaching, you know, I started studying more about the actual coaches because when I was a real estate agent, more so, and I wasn't coaching at all, I was studying mostly just real estate agents, what their behaviors are, how they operate, you know, how they are successful. And since I got into the coaching world a couple years ago, I've been studying coaches. And I've really been paying attention to, you know, how they structure their business, how they're successful, what they do, how they do it. And when I look at the number one coach in real estate, what is very extremely inspiring to me and motivating to me is the fact that this person can have never sold real estate a day in their life, but yet become the number one coach in that industry, okay? That to me is incredible. And it tells me that anything's possible. It, it motivates me to think that things that I, you know, things that I think I can do, right? Um, I believe that you know I can do some incredible things, right? And I'm pushing to do amazing things. But however, to see that happen tells me that there's even more impossible things that I could do. And it pushes me and it motivates me. And I think it's just incredible. I think this person deserves the um, Hustler of the Century Award, right? Who can have never been involved in an industry and become the number one coach of that industry. Only the hustler of the century could do something like that. And I'm talking about last century too, like the 1900s. Like I'm going to be the number one coach of this century. I'm going to be the hustler of this century. Okay, so moving forward, um, another thing that, that I really learned and has really pushed and motivated me is the way that mainstream coaches operate, okay? The way that they teach agents, okay? They're teaching every agent the same thing. They're teaching agents how to high pressure people into awkward situations, and it's driving clients away, right? And it has really molded my coaching program into where it is today, which is, I'm not trying to figure out, I'm not trying to teach agents how to figure out what the client can do for the agent. Okay, that's what mainstream coaches teach you. They're just trying to say, hey, does this person want to buy or sell? If not, if they're not motivated, move on. Don't worry about them. We need to find motivated buyers and sellers. Whereas I'm sitting here thinking, the person you're talking to, regardless if they want to buy or sell or not, will buy or sell at some point. Why are we going to throw them away? Why are we going to disregard these prospects? Right, these are very, very valuable prospects. And this is how you get to 100 deals a year as a single agent like I have for the last five going on six years, is I've accumulated so many people in my database who know me and trust me at such a level because I didn't try to get them to do something, right? I didn't try to handle their objections to, to, to slide into a possible contract today. And I think through that mindset, you end up doing more deals, okay? Because it's now it's more of a volume game, okay? Let's see who talks to the most people and can create the most relationships. It's not about the transactions. The transactions are a byproduct of, of your relationship building skills, in my opinion, right? And the more relationships you put in place with people that are in your market, right? Every relationship is worth 10 to 20 deals to you. This is what agents are missing. The 10 to 20 deals part of each prospect through repeat business referrals and referrals of referrals. Okay, and if you really think about the referrals of referrals who are gonna give you even more referrals because you treat them like family as well, 
Each prospect could potentially be worth 20, 30, 40, 50, or even 100 deals to you over the life of your career. And we're just saying, let's just move on past them because they're not motivated to do something today, right? That's short-term thinking. And this is what mainstream coaching is all about. Mainstream coaching is about let's scare the agents okay into a situation where they feel like they need us and they have to pay us now okay mainstream coaching also does not give away any of the insides of their of, of what they're teaching agents right they're holding back information publicly because they want you to have to pay to get that that inside information right and to have that inside connection and i think that Real estate is so simple, right? It's so easy, it's so simple. It's like poker, and I made this analogy on a podcast um, earlier this week that it takes you literally five to 10 minutes to figure out how to play the game, okay? But it takes you a lifetime to master. It's really easy to, to, to realize the nuts and bolts of it when you take out all the distractions. There's so many distractions out there telling agents, this is how you do it, this is how you do it, no, this is how you do it. Okay, now we have AI coming into play and all the companies are jumping on that bandwagon to, to try to sell agents AI programs to, con to communicate with their clients and get them to a point where they're ready to buy or sell and now we talk to them. And I think that there could be some good out of that, but I think that most of the industry is just out to try to get agents to pay them money, right? And I don't see the intent. I don't see the relationship building process. I don't see the intent behind what most of the coaches out there are doing. And so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why I'm free. That's why I don't charge you to teach you every little thing that I know about selling real estate. Is my way the best way? That's debatable, right? I'm not telling you my way is the best way. I'm just telling you this is how I sell 100 properties a year as a single agent since 2014. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, going on 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm going to keep doing it while I'm still traveling the world, spreading this message, trying to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry. My entire mission is to reduce the failure rate by trying to, to bring awareness of what I'm saying here. So um, it's been an incredible journey. Um, I'm still learning more and more and more every day and a lot from you guys in the comments when you when you comment or give me feedback or tell me that this is working or tell me this isn't working or this works in your market this doesn't work in that market the different things that are going on around the industry and around the world and trust me I'm listening and I'm adapting and I'm trying to figure it all out right I'm trying to be three steps ahead of the game to bring you more value and to help you get where you want to go. There's nobody in the, in the industry that cares about you as much as I do. And I think it shows through the fact that I sit around and answer every single question on all the different platforms. Um, anybody that needs anything whatsoever, I take time out of my day and I do what I can to give you the best advice possible. And I think that that is really, really helping people a lot. I think if you try to DM just about any of the other coaches or send any other messages to any other coaches, you're not getting a response, or at least I haven't when I've reached out to several of the coaches out there, the big name and smaller name coaches, even the smaller name coaches, um, it's hard to get a response out of. So I just want you guys to know that I'm here for you. I want to help you. I'll do anything in the world, and it, it just means a lot to me to see you succeed. And a lot of people say, well, what can we do for you, Ricky? What, you're doing all this for us, what can we do for you? And the answer is literally the same every time, and it's just that you take something I'm saying and you go succeed, okay? You take my phone script, right? You, you take my philosophy of building relationships and you apply it to something else. You take my weekly email strategy. You take the mindset behind losing deals, gives you future time back that you can go get five more deals. You realize that market crashes are just the beginning of opportunity because buyers wanna buy when it's down and sellers have to sell, so there's all kinds of opportunity. Nothing changes in terms of our business. We're still out there in the market trying to help people buy and sell property. 
right? The closings do not stop. They continue to happen every day, day after day. So I know there's a lot of you that have been following me from day one, which would be about two and a half years ago. There's a lot of you that have been following me for two years, a year and a half, a year, six months. Um, but I just want you to know that I'm watching and I want you guys to keep posting your results in the Facebook group, post your results um, in my DMs, let me know how you're doing, what, what you're finding works, what doesn't work, um, comments under these YouTube videos and Facebook videos. It means a lot because I'm following your success. And there's a lot of my earlier students that, that I'm still watching, right? They, they comment, I'm reading, and it brings me an incredible amount of gratitude um, to see you guys continuing to push because this stuff doesn't happen overnight. Real estate is not an over, nothing is an overnight success, but especially not real estate, right? It's such a process, it's such a steep learning curve. Um, it's a really tough industry to break into, but it's so worth it. It is so worth it. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I have started my third book. I'm really excited about it. I'm spending a lot of time with it. It's going to be really, really good. So um, I'm excited about that. It will take me several, several months. Hopefully by maybe the end of the year, I can get to a point where I'm almost somewhat done with it. And sometime early 2020, um, I'll release it. But in the meantime, I do want to give away some of my second book, List of Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Crash. So just please share this video, comment below, like this video, and for your chance to win, um, I'll pick some people out, I'll get your address, I'll sign some books and mail them to you. So um, that's just my way, again, of showing you how much I care and how much I appreciate you guys. If you have read one of my books, please give me an Amazon review. If you're not listening to my podcast, please go to iTunes or SoundCloud or one of the other podcast platforms and give me a five-star review. There's a lot of content in the podcast, lots of value there. And uh, comment below and let me know if there's a particular video you want me to make. And if there's anything else in the world I can do for you, please, I'll talk to you guys soon.